I'm Kendra from Black and Blue Tube. I love to watch, and this is my reaction to Hawkeye episode two, Hide and Seek. Hello. Um, so things happen. Life finds a way, as Dr. Ian Malcolm would say. Um, you know, so without even like going into details, I am here in Los Angeles. I am about to react to the rest of season one of Hawkeye. It's after Christmas, but we're gonna pretend like it's still Christmas because we still have some days in December left. As of this recording. And uh, I'm not done. Kenny and I both really enjoyed the first episode of Hawkeye. I really loved Kate Bush. Um, really loved Kate Bishop and uh, Haley Steinfeld's portrayal of her. I am also even appreciating uh, Clint uh, slash Hawkeye a lot more than I have in the past, just being a strictly sort of MCU film version of him, um, only being exposed to that version of him. Um, but you know what? You know what? This is very up my alley. Uh, die Hard. Uh, John McClane, you know, weary sort of uh, seasoned Avenger takes on a protege. And I just really appreciate seeing, you know, more of Clint as a family man. I know that there are rumors that I'm not even going to talk about just in case. Um, so I'm just going to scoot all the way through this season right now. You know, wish me luck and I'll see you guys on the other side. And what is up with this watch? Okay, so the watch thing seems important from the last episode. So what is important about this watch? Come on! You're a, you're a Hawkeye! Who the hell are you? You're a kid. Why does Haka always get stuck with dumb kids? Where'd you get this suit? Look at it. Gotta get you out of here, kid. Okay? It's not safe for you to be in this. Do you live near here? Yeah. Um, okay. uh, just come with me. And so I saw come that body. Just wait. Back there in those suits of ours. Come with me. Get you. So, are you going to fight like this? I gotta say, you can watch a lot of this in the last five. Wow. Like a year ago? I like that angle. That was interesting. Are you, are you assessing taxes? <laughs> a year ago. <laughs> um, you know, some, some people have actually called me the world's greatest archer. Yeah. Are you one of those people? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, one, one of them is, yes. So where'd you get the suit? Back in our production. So, uh, now that I've uh, answered all your questions, I have so many for you. Uh, starting with... Will you sign my bow? I knew it! <laughs> You're not done yet. But when you are, can you sign my bow? You're kind of my favorite hunter. No way you're connected to this suit whatsoever. That's right. I need you to be sure. I am. Surgeon. Yes. The transfers must have followed you from the auction to where I am. You stopped anywhere before that. I just dropped off the job. Dummy! And my name's on the buzzer. Yeah. Get out. Oh, no! Don't f*** up the nice loft! What? Oh. Okay! Go ahead, Clint! Oh, Are the cats in here? No, just their hair. What happened to the damn cats? We're gonna stay here, lock the store. <laughs> you better. Uh, okay. How very Hitman 3 of you, Clint. Oh, did somebody take it already? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't have left it. What? Did one of the firemen take that damn suit so he could do his role play? <laughs> That's hilarious. What is this? Oh, I, I started to describe what I could remember of the tracksuit's faces. <laughs> wow. Wow. Man, I gotta go. Uh, no, no, no. That is uh, the last thing. 
You need to do actually. Let's not forget the traps, you guys. I'm trying to kill you twice yesterday. Stay put. She's just gonna come and find me anyway. Girl, what she is she wearing? Is she wearing her aunt's clothes? <laughs> no. You can turn on. You're walking on the outside. Let's go. No, no, it's just so I can hear you. Uh, and you're clear enough to want you just because I need you. <laughs> what happened? Lots of, lots of explosions. <laughs> too hard to tell. Mommy, I'm a superhero. Have I talked to you? No, this captain is ever being. Let's go. <laughs> Why does she no, exist in this universe? With this ninja suit, and the people are trying to kill me because of this ninja suit. No. It's branding. Here, put your phone number in here for emergencies only. Come on, block and beat you. <laughs> just goodbye. Bye later. No, please don't. I got your number. I mean, I have to admit, I, 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 I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. trying to cause a scene here, all right? Out of respect, whatever the hell this is, but I'm plumb out of patience. So you got two choices, you understand? Mm -hmm. I can take this, pretend sword, and you pretend to die. Or I'm gonna real punch you, and you're gonna real fall down, and I'm gonna take that suit. Just let me kill you. The ritualistic potion. This is a bottle. Right, I'm great, thank you. Come here, please. Let's get on this. I'm not gonna reap benefits. Winner! Take the suit! Go you! What do you say we break out a couple of these bad boys? Please listen. What? I'm gonna go get my stuff. Uh uh, uh uh. See, that's a red flag. And what exactly are you trying to prove here? Don't you think it's a little strange? But the same night his uncle threatens you, he ends up murdered. By his sword. The police will handle it. What is Coach? Mm -hmm. Good. I'm sorry. Clint Barton can't take your call right now. So she's about to get herself into all the trouble. She obviously planned for this to happen and she's gonna screw it up. No! <laughs> Poor Clint, he's not gonna make I it home in time for Christmas. Here. Oh, I'm not the guy. Looking for. Keep this guy, bro. Can I speak to your manager? This is like talking furniture. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, girl. Echo? Now it's on to episode three. they have her in the same class Ooh. so we get to see how she learns how to fight Who's that pinching her cheeks there? I like her. So she's cool. What's she doing as the head of the criminal underground organization? <laughs> oh, sh oh, her father was a tracksuit guy. Hmm. Yeah, man, you gotta consider who you're killing.
Girl, she's shut nine. up. She's not good. Look at her, she's nine. <laughs> and spoiled lot. So, who got her that? Natasha Romanoff. Like, what up? So, Roman is dead. And the person who killed him is dead. That's convenient. How do you know this? Oh, how did you do that? <laughs> oh! Oh! Woo! Oh. Oh. Ooh, right in the earpiece. Oh, she gonna stomp on it too. Yeah, I knew it. Ooh, where is it going? Oh! This dude is really swimming in the ball pit. Oh! <laughs> nice! Okay, this is so far the fight scenes are my favorite part about this series. I'm not hearing you. You tried, okay? Get in the damn car! I really like the way this act, this chase scene is being shot right now. This reminds me of that Steadicam shot from um, Children of Men. Ooh, girl, what are you? Ooh, girl, ooh, hey, girl. Oh! Trust him. <laughs> Whatever you gonna do, do it. That the Wakanda gas? What is that? Ah! Oh. Messed up that challenger. Poor challenger, rest in peace. Whoa. Oh, y'all gonna have to do like a grappling arrow. Ooh, him arrow! Oh! <laughs> you can't hear a damn thing she's saying. You really think so? We punched walk the dog. They cooked up all day. <laughs> wow, he really needs that hearing aid. Hey, hey, babe. Hey, Daniel. You know I'm gonna be right, like I said. I don't know, Clint. I don't know, Clint. Yeah, it's gotta go, okay? Picture this. It's purple. Oh, wow. That's nature. That's on your forehead. That's the hotline. Wow. I'm not happy. No. Okay. I'm not a role model. Oh. I'm sorry, Kate. I'm not a role model to anyone. But yes, you are. Do you still think Jack is involved in this thing somehow? Yes. There's two little coincidences. He was at the auction that night, and yesterday he offered me a butterscotch. Girl. That was exactly a crime. And when I tried to stab him in the face to prove he was lying, he parried like a pro. Because he was an employee? Just don't know that. It's all sort of You know something? Jared, mm -hmm. get out of your mama. I know that this will work out. Mm-hmm. Oh! Uh. Damn! Okay, so I really, really enjoyed that. Uh, I, well, okay, I, I want, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I liked that. I didn't enjoy it quite as much as the first episode, but by the end when we were introduced to Echo and Clint sort of like in, running with the, uh, <laughs> the tracksuit mafia, that like, I really enjoyed that part. I, you know, I was hoping that I would enjoy more, more of, um, 
Kate's parts in this, but I kind of, I don't know, I'm, I'm not really a fan of how she's going about trying to solve this mystery. Um, I don't know. I, she's Clearly she's na naive and she's very eager in terms of wanting to be a hero and, and doing sort of like her own sort of investigation and everything and I get that. I just wish that, I don't know, I kind of I thought that the way that she handles herself in the first episode I liked a little bit more than in this episode, but I'm not going to condemn it. I'm gonna try to roll with it, you know. I still really like the character and I really I really like the dynamic between her and Clint uh, so far. Um, yeah, and I still feel like her mom is, is clearly hiding something and her mom's fiance, Jack, is just... <laughs> I'm hoping that um, whatever's going on with him gets wrapped up soon. I really like the introduction of Echo. Cannot wait to see what else she's gonna do. I really like Maya's character and I actually am I'm very intrigued by um, Kazi. Right now I'm just enjoying the ride. And I will see you guys next time.